Hi, my name is Brockstar, and I'm the head of the Brockstar Repair Saxophone Center. Yeah, that's what I am. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to keep your saxophone, if you got one, maybe. I don't know. If you don't have a saxophone, just click away from this video right now. But, if you do have a saxophone, and you want to find out how to take better care of it and stuff, then I'll tell you all about it, okay? Let's get started. <laughs> so, of course, first thing you're going to need to do is take the bottom part, and then the very top part, and then just blend them together. Now, if it doesn't go in that easily, this is what you got to do. You got to put some saliva on it. And just wipe all that good saliva all over it, okay? Now, it should go in perfectly. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to wipe some. Wipe some cork grease on the, oh my gosh, That's, and your your cork grease needs to actually be out, which I, I didn't really prepare for this, so uh, I, I'm actually borrowing this cork, cork grease right now, but anyway, that's beside the point. So you want to, you want to like rub the cork grease like on your cork, of course, at the top, that's why it's called cork grease. Because you want to rub it on the cork at the top. Something else I thought I should just put out as a little tip. You want to make sure you have like a big broad sound. A big broad sound like powerful like really enthusiast. I, I think that's the word. Like your audience. Make them want to hear more. Because here, here's an example of someone messing up. Listen, listen. Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm sure a lot of people probably know me. I'm mostly focused on positives. I'm not really that much in the negatives. So, anyway, let's move to someone who's pretty good. And this is actually what you want to sound like. Okay, so that's an example of what you'd actually want to do. Now, if you haven't clicked away from the video yet, I'm going to give a thanks to you. Well, now we're going to move on to cleaning your instrument. So, what you want to do for this is get a swab. <laughs> there are many different kinds of swabs, just so you know. And then you go ahead and then just put that. You can stick you can stick it in either the small end or like the bell end. And try to knock it out. <coughs> and then you gotta pull the Uh, are we going to have a problem? Are we going to have a problem? Sorry, my <laughs> my instrument is being a little bit stubborn. 
There we go. I knew you were a good little instrument. Yeah. <laughs> you rub the. Then you want to make sure you rub the top. Of course. <laughs> and you just want to rub like around the bell. You want to rub like around the bell. Just make sure you didn't miss anything. <laughs> now the reason I'm closer to the camera right now is because now we're gonna do the probably the worst part of playing the instrument. Putting it away. <laughs> so basically what you want to do is you want to take the main part and put it in its designated area. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> so you want to, yeah, you want to stick that in the designated area. The strap. <laughs> and then basically fold it and put it like and put it like this, like how it's kind of like, kind of like putting a little, little blanket around a little hamster or something. I don't, I don't know. Wondering about joining our program? Here's a message from a satisfied customer. Ever since I joined the Brock Saxophone Company, I've learned how to use a saxophone. Pro properly. See, he was satisfied, and you can be too. Join now. No, literally, like right now. <laughs>